Hey there YouTube, game two here, and we got a decent enough hand. Got a few two drops. And all our colors. This would be a hand I would mind flooding out a lot less than the last one. I think I just played Bondkin. I want to outlast this guy, so when I play Seeker, it doesn't get Arc Lightning 2 for 1. Also can block the Hate Blade, though I don't know why he's playing this, since he's not really a Hate Blade deck. As in, this is just a 1-1 one, one for 1. That's fine. Alright, like last game where we were getting all the lands, this game we're getting none of the lands. Yay, magic. This turn, he doesn't have profitable attacks. Even with Trumpet Blast, it isn't that good. Arc Lightning kills this, makes this able to attack but not these. I think we're fine. This aggression doesn't seem out of control. No, if I don't draw a land next turn, it might be out of control. Yep, there's the arc lightning. That was why I outlasted, as I didn't want to get two for one. Yep, this can attack now, good for you. Drew Disowned Ancestor. That's not a land. Still playing 18. Yeah, so I'm on two lands and he has a Sage of the Inward Eye out. Yippee doo -dah. That was good. I just morph this guy. I think that's my only option here. Longshot Squad should actually save me, potentially. I suppose there's an argument for outlasting Disowned Ancestor in hopes I draw a land, but maybe I could just play Longshot Squad and Armament Core to give two of my guys reach. Wraps and Guide and Seeker for Ancestor. Alright, he's swinging for three. I just have to take it and hope to draw land. Summit Prowler is good. Drew land, play long shot squad and pass. Or do I have to block the Summit Prowler? Nothing really. Could play Salt Road Patrol. Or I think I just have to play the Long Shot Squad. Hopefully, this lifelink gets me back into the game from taking the Summit Prowler hit. Worst possible play for us now is if he, uh, Plays Active Trees and Trumpet Blast, but he didn't. 
but he does have a trumpet blast. That's unfortunate. Okay. So five puts us to nine. So be six, putting us to three, which means that if I block, 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 I go to three and die to sage next turn if I don't draw land. Or I block this with my long shot, can't block the sage anymore, but potentially can draw land and flip Abzan guide and start swinging in to offset this. Or I can block disowned on the summit prowler. Shit, am I just losing this long shot squad? Can I let two guys through? Two one ones, that's six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 13, 14, leaving me at 3 life. Crap. This can block this guy without dying. Take 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 damage this way, putting me to 2, or I double block here, he kills this, I have no way to offset the damage from that, or I block here, take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Go to 5, have an Absan guide flip up next turn. Or I can chump. And next turn, if I draw a land, I can play Armament Core. And effectively stabilize. I have an armament core is good with Absan. If I do it this way, I go down to pretty low life total. Or I'd have to swing with Absan Guide if I drew the land. Because if he just doesn't attack with Horde Chief. No, I could I could save it back for a turn for the armament core. And flip up at the end of his turn. This loses to a lot of things, but I think this is just the way I have to play it. <clears throat> yep, here's the trumpet blast. Yep, we do da. So if I don't draw land here, I am essentially dead. Cool. Alright. So I can pass turn. Or I could attack. The difference is... If I get in a hit with absent guide, I gain 4. I block here, I take 1 back. Yeah, I definitely want to flip this. And... get four damage in. Then play Armament Core, start gaining more life, and hopefully come back into this game. Come on. I don't have a pause feature, otherwise I would do that now. If 
He has another trumpet blast. I take five, six, seven, eight. I don't actually die, but disown does. And I'm pretty much dead. I save my guys back. It's not that much better. Yeah, I'm definitely attacking with Absan Guide here. Begin to stabilize. Play Ivory Tusk Fortress can outlast my disowned ancestor and play Chief or Salt Rope Patrol, depending on if I draw lands. Okay, attack. Flip. Got to be fast with my time. If I'm going to a game three, I want to be able to, you know, actually play a game three rather than rush through it. I have no effects besides blocking, so I'm just going to have six this turn. He has something to stop this from blocking. That's a little unfortunate. Arrow storm this. I take six, go to three. That would have been nice last turn. Um, Armament core, put two one one counters on this. Swing gain six. Smite the monsters on my life linker. That really sucks, but I couldn't play around it. I could have if I just attacked with the armament core, kept feet up, and played chief. Crap. Um. Best draw here would be one of my two murder cuts. That was not one. I just play fortress and swing with the core. Do I swing with the core? No. I should have played around a removal spell there. That was my fault. I wanted to get my life a little higher and go for the one turn where I didn't have removal. I don't. I'm losing to a hate blade deck that's not even playing black. That in and of itself is embarrassing. Okay, so I can't draw removal much as I was saying this deck has a lot of it. Apparently my luck just sucks. Well, sorry about that, guys. Um, I'll be back later on. I think we just got a little unfortunately lucky there. So, be there. Again in a bit.